Hey there, art friends. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to dress Snoopy, all right? So, my fabulous niece, Eden, requested to dress Snoopy, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. To help you guys out, I will be putting the finished drawing right here above the Drawing Joshua logo. That way you guys have something to reference while we draw. Okay, so I'm gonna use a marker, um, but you guys are welcome to draw with whatever you guys have at home. Okay, so to start, uh, we're gonna make Snoopy sitting on like a house, as you can see from the reference photo over here. So to start, why don't we go like this? We're just gonna put, we're gonna go to the center and up to the right a little bit, and we're just gonna put a little dot or a little line like that, okay? And this is gonna be for Snoopy's eye. So if we go up just a tiny bit from here and over, I'm gonna put another dot. And this is gonna be for the start of his face or his head, okay? So it kind of comes down and we'll come over. Maybe something like that. So you kind of picture like a fish hook or like a backwards J. So now from here, we can go up. Maybe we can kind of come over a little bit. Kind of slowly comes down and back around, okay? So it kind of starts to curve halfway through here if you kind of try to line it up. And then we can keep going from here and we can just curve this right up, maybe like that, all right? Now, inside of here, to make it look like his ear has some texture, we're gonna go start just about the same height and we'll just kind of come down. I'm just gonna kind of make some squiggles here. And there's no exact rhyme or reason. There's no wrong way to do it. And I'll just fill this in while I'm here. Something like that, all right? Okay, now let's go ahead and draw the rest of Snoopy's body, okay? So if we start where his mouth is and we kind of go over a little bit more and we'll go past where the eye is, if you line it up straight up and down, and then it comes down, maybe like this. And then to make sure it lines up, what we'll do is we'll start right by the ear here and we'll come down like this, okay? And then we'll put a little line here to make it look like it's a dog collar, okay? Now, let's go ahead and keep going. So, from the collar, we're gonna go down just a little bit further like this, and we're gonna draw his foot, okay? So I'm just gonna basically draw like an oval or a circle, okay? Either way you do it is more than okay. I'm gonna put a little line and maybe a little line like this to make it look like his foot is there. And then we'll do another oval or circle, roughly the same size. Maybe like that, okay? Now, to make it look like the bottom of his feet, I'm just gonna put a couple little lines. So I'm gonna do one little line there, maybe another one here, we'll do another one here, and let's add one more, maybe like that, okay? And then we'll do the same thing on this foot. Do one line up, maybe do another one here, Maybe another one here. Just kind of wherever you feel like, okay? Maybe something like that. Okay, now out of his paw, or out of his, yeah, I guess paw, um, we're gonna have like his hand, okay? So we're gonna go up a little bit. This is gonna be like his arm, and then we'll draw his hand right here. So it's just gonna be from this, like a little bit from the center, you go up a little bit. And we're gonna just have this diagonal line like this that curves back around and then just connects back up to his collar, like that, all right? Now, to make it look like his paw, we're just gonna put a couple little lines. So maybe one there and one there. All right, see how that kind of looks like his little paw? And then, let's draw kind of his tail. We can draw a line that comes down and curves over. And then, we'll draw another little line here. Comes up and around and over, and that's gonna be for his tail, okay? Now, we're gonna make him sitting on top of his doghouse, talking to his little friend, okay? So, we're gonna come over, maybe like this, and I'm just gonna do down, so we'll do the draw the side. Maybe like that, all right? Now, try your best. You can grab a ruler if you need. I'm just gonna to try to do it free-handed, but try to make it the same level as over here, and we can just go over a little bit like this, and then we'll draw his little friend. Okay, but before we get too far, let's go ahead and draw his nose and his eyebrow, okay? Because I kind of forgot that part while we were up there. So from the top part here, I'm just gonna put a little line that comes out. And if we go down the curve here, we can just add a little circle or an oval like that. And kind of a little side part there that we can just color in. All right, great job. This is already starting to look more like Snoopy. Okay, now let's draw his little friend, okay? so. We're gonna draw, it's kind of like an oval, like that. A really small one, because his friend is so much smaller. 
and we'll draw another one. And we'll draw one more. And this one's gonna kind of be a little crooked. Maybe like that. Okay. And then we can come over and this part comes down. And then it comes back up and almost touches that third oval, but not quite. And we go back up like this, just past this oval here. And then we just do a little curve like that. Okay. Then out of kind of like the second oval, we'll go up and draw like a little friend's neck. And it comes to the right and up, curves over, maybe like this, and around like that. Okay, and we'll draw his hair. So I'm just gonna put a couple little black lines. And maybe one like this, and we'll do two more. We'll do this, and we'll do one more little one there. Okay, and then we'll do two little eyes. So these are basically just little lines like this, and another one like this. So they kind of go different directions. All right, awesome. Now on the other side, we're gonna go a little bit further to the left, and that's gonna be for the top of the house, okay? So we did the side of this house, this angle. So we're gonna do the other side, just the opposite angle. So it's gonna go like this way. You just make it roughly the same distance. And if they don't line up, go ahead and just try to match them up the best you can. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and connect these two. Remember, it is a cartoon, so it doesn't have to be perfect, okay? And then from here, I'm gonna put a little line down and a little line down like this. And then draw a line that connects these two. All right, and I'm just trying my best. Okay, now from this left side, I'm gonna go in a little bit, maybe like right below where his little friend is sitting, okay? I'm gonna put a line here. And then I'm gonna try to go about the same distance on this side, so I'm gonna go in just a little bit and maybe like there, okay? Maybe almost by like Snoopy's tail, somewhere in there. And we'll draw the bottom of his house. So it just comes down like that. Same thing on the other side, comes down. Try to line it up the best you can. If you do have a ruler, you can measure it if you'd like. And then we just connect these two. Maybe something like that. All right, awesome. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put a few more little lines on here to make it look like his house is made of wood. So I'm gonna try to do one here and one here. Like that. And like that. And then I'll do two more on here as well. These are gonna be a little closer together. All right, awesome job. Now, to make it fun, what I'm gonna do is just add a couple little clouds in the sky, okay? So, these are nothing too crazy. We're gonna start here, just kind of come around. Picture like one oval, kind of just do another oval and kind of make them with squiggly lines. Do another one like this, and we'll draw one more, maybe like that. And the fun part is about Snoopy is that it's super kind of like sketchy lines um, and not everything connects. So, if you don't wanna connect it, you don't have to. So then I'll do one more, maybe above his little friend. We'll kind of do one that kind of comes like this. You can even do straight lines if you don't feel like doing curvy lines. Kind of comes around. And maybe like that, see? And we'll kind of add a couple little marks in here. Maybe something like that. We'll kind of color this one in a little bit more. There's no real rhyme or reason to it. You just make the clouds however you wanna make them. And then we'll do one more up over here, okay? So just kinda of come down, maybe like this. We'll come around. Again, just curved lines or straight lines or whatever you want. There's no wrong way to do it, okay? We'll kinda of come over like this. We'll do another one that comes up and down. And maybe like that. Okay. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and color my Snoopy and the little friend in, okay? So, as you can see from the reference photo, I'll probably um, do like a red for the house, and I'll probably color his little friend in yellow. But you guys are welcome to color it in whatever colors you'd like, or you can pause the video at the end and match the colors that I chose. All 
All right, guys, so as you can see, I colored in uh, the house a red and I kind of did his, his friend in like a yellow, but I'd love to see how your drawings turned out. So feel free to take me on any social media post. And please remember, it is okay if your drawings don't look exactly like mine. Everyone's art is going to look different. The most important thing to remember is to practice and practice and always have fun. Thanks, everyone.